Good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus, and welcome back to Halcyon 6. I say welcome back even though this is episode 1, but uh, I'm starting over the episode count because this is Halcyon 6 Early Access, not just the beta version we are playing before. Now, it is still kind of in beta here because it is Early Access, but it is uh, basically ready for Early Access at this point. So it has all of Act 1 basically put into it. Uh, and I think a lot of the balancing they wanted to get accomplished before Early Access has been accomplished now. Uh, so it's time to start over again. There hasn't been a substantial update since last time we played, but if you're following along with the previous series, you knew that I was in dire straits anyways. So it's time to get this other go here, I think, and start it from the very beginning. It's brand new crew, brand new adventure, uh, same old pirates, that kind of thing. Let's get into it here with a brand new game. And we will choose the option. Just because I didn't really get to experience it the first time around, we'll go through the introduction. I can't skip the combat tutorial though, oh boy. I don't really want to do the combat tutorial again but I want to see the introduction again, so I'm going to actually do the introduction, skip past the combat tutorial, and we'll come in at the beginning of Act 1. So, if you're interested, uh, watch this. If you're not, then uh, we'll have a little link in the corner here to skip past uh, the introduction here if you've seen it before. But the reason I want to do this again here is because they slowed it down, so I actually take some time to read it this time instead of trying to power through it and speed through the, the dialogue here. So, play through the beginning of the game here. For half a millennium, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. But it was the Terran Federation, through ingenuity and bravery of its officer class, that ultimately prevailed. Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long-dead precursor alien race, they put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. One of these precursor artifacts is your home, Halcyon 6. The crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon Sector. Commanded by Admiral Brem Chandra, the Federation's most decorated officer, and protected by the 12th Fleet, the Starbase is permanently staffed by a variety of Federation officers with the mission of unlocking its mysteries. Today, however, the station has received an unwelcome news. A garbled Today, however, the station has received some unwelcome news. A garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet to return to Federation space. With the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue the work on the experiment, Admiral Brem Chandra leaves you in charge of the station. Prepare for warp. All right, so this is Admiral Brem Chandra's fleet with Commander McLaren. Admiral, we've arrived at the rendezvous point. There's no sign of welcoming forces. No hypercast signals detected either. I think we're early. We're on your signal detection, Captain. The fourth and eighth fleets are expected to join us as well. Those Titan class ships should be hard to miss. Admiral, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation in origin. Some kind of... Whatever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. I've never seen anything like it before. Some kind of portal. Admiral, I'm getting multiple ships readings. All heading, our posi all heading for our position. They must be coming out of that thing. Unknown hostiles. I repeat, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. Alright, so this is the... Uh, this is the... Introduction to battle, basically. Uh, we know how to do most of this stuff. We're just gonna follow through the things here and uh, make it go fast. But if you're not familiar with Halcyon Six, if you're not familiar with Halcyon, Halcyon Six here, I should have explained some things. Uh, basically, the game is um, the combat works like this. It's a lot of status effects and combos. So when you attack something, uh, it has these little status effects there, and that makes it weak against certain things. Um, drone swarm. That's a cool one. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically the idea. So now they always have hull breach on them, and now they're more, more susceptible to certain kinds of damage, um, and certain kinds of attacks. So now our weapons are disruptive, so we're gonna be weaker, I think, is our deal here. Yes, uh, take more, oh, you take more damage with the acid vomit duration on there, okay, cool. So, uh, do this and protect ourselves, so we took a little damage there. But, as classic RPG, uh, games, you always are destined to lose the first battle here, which is Unfortunately, the case for our fine crew here and their, their, their giant ships that we'll never see the likes of again. Look at these awesome ships, though. The crew, I've never seen. Uh, I guess we saw them the very first time around, but uh, we, this one is a, a crazy, crazy ship here. That's a cool move, too. Oh, boy, we're in trouble, guys. Uh, cauterize Hull, fix him up a little bit. Not enough to matter. Uh, kills all of them, maybe? 
killed one of them. But I think they got the best of us. Repair it up. This will repair over time is the idea with the repair drones. Whereas the other one is just kind of an immediate immediate heal. Alright, strafing run once again and... Oh, take all this guy. That should knock him down pretty far. Oh, maybe not. Overreached. Okay. Combat sometimes results in sacrifice of the greater good. Best learn this now. Yeah, we're in trouble, guys. Crew is panicked. We're going to stasis lock a single enemy. And that might actually take care of him. Nice. And that guy has the status effects that did him into. Admiral, we're picking up more of those portals on the sector. Oh god. We're surrounded. We're being surrounded! Admiral, we need to jump now. Back to Halcyon 6. I've got... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's bad. Oh god. What is that? That thing! Jump now, for the gods, for God's sake, jump now! Everything's gone. Alright, so that was the backstory of what happened to Halcyon 6 and the situation we found ourselves in. And uh, you've skipped forward to the point where we're actually selecting our officers, and we were going to select Corbane Lau, Tactical, because on our previous playthrough, this did pretty well for us. We got pretty far using this combination. It's kind of the normal difficulty starting stance here. Um, and then uh, we've encountered a biological alien vessel of that ma We've never encountered a biological alien vessel of that mass before. Its appearance in Federation space is worrying, as is the dearth of signals coming from our core planets. You should send our fleet out to nearby colonies and facilities and be on the lookout for more of these aliens. In the meantime, you should promote a new officer from our ranks. I've prepared a list of suitable officers for you to choose from. So the reason we skipped to this beginning of Act 1 is because it skipped us all the tutorial stuff. Uh, if you're interested in playing the game, go play it, but... Um, it is available on Steam. Check the link in the description here. But uh, I will explain things as we go in, in, in quicker fashion than the tutorial will. So we'll just get into it here. And then we have a tactical officer. And the last time we did Illyria Song, the science officer. Uh, and I like this combo, actually. I do like this combo. So we're going to do it. We're going to select that officer as our combo here. Um, and it uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good one. So we have uh, Federation survivors detected in the Organon system. Show location. Pretty far away. We need a lot of fuel to get up there. Um, there's that, okay. And we can send the fleet to get them, but we don't have enough fuel right now. 24 fuel, not gonna happen. We do have this refinery right here, though. And how much do they have saved for us? This refinery's active. Um, the other thing we need to do that we didn't do last time, and I'm gonna start doing this time around, is explore the sector here a little bit more. We didn't really get into that um, until it was way too late. And we started looking around for dark matter supplies and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, this time, hopefully, get some more dark matter coming in. Um, we have two ships going already. Let's see, your ship construction. Let's see, ship management. We only have one tactical. Uh, so we're going to constru construct a second ship for our science officer. We need the Acolyte. It's going to take three days to build, but it will, it'll work for our science officer we just promoted. Um, and we'll build a ship, and we'll build it. Okay, so that'll be three days. We should probably wait. And by the time we wait three days, we should have ourselves saved up enough... Uh, energy here. Oh, you know what we should do? Quick, we should actually send our fleet out over here quick. Since we're waiting three days, there's no point in waiting. We'll send the fleet there, uh, assign the officer here, Corbain Lau, and we'll actually have him explore one of these systems here. And just to get some, uh, get some idea of what we're going on over around here. It's gonna cost us eight, yeah sure. There's our ship, so we're ready to go for that. Illyria's gonna command it. Um, good, okay. And we're back to the Starbase map. Get it forward here. And Corbain Lau reported that the Dark Matter Extractor of Boomerangs is in ruins. Okay, so that was nothing there. So that's, that, taught, that taught us something. We learned something here. And uh, now we're just waiting around for our fleet to get ready to go here. Uh, let's see, is there anything going on here? Let's actually send the fleet there quick. Um, it's going to cost us three fuel, but I think we might be able to set up a trade supply with that uh, that uh, fuel refinery there. Patching it through now, what a relief. We already thought we'd be stuck floating on this, flo this facility producing fuel that nobody will ever use. Waiting to be gobbled up by passing fleshy ship monsters, space monsters. Now, Commander, it's a nice view. My crew and myself would much rather prefer to be transferred to a little pre 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 uh, precarious, to a little less precarious location. Say that station of yours. I don't know if that's any less precarious, to be honest with you. 
Uh, over course, of course, we'll stay here as long as he needs to produce fuel. Okay, so we're going to transfer the fuel to the fleet, first of all, here. And then we're going to leave the system and not evacuate them. So we have plenty of fuel now to get up where we need to go. So, let's go take care of the colony up here. Um, it'll produce crew over time. They're way on the reaches, though. I feel like we should probably collect them and bring them back closer. Because we have a few over here. Uh, let's actually go here first. Uh, yep, yeah, stand that guy's there. We already didn't take a fuel to get there, but, uh... We found 11 fuel while traveling, that's awesome. And then we have... You've made contact with the colony at Deneb, patching you through now. Sir, it's great to hear from you, we're under the impression the entire Federation Navy was destroyed, and those alien things would track us down sooner than later. Uh, we have a fully stocked and fully functional colony here, Commander. Consider it at your disposal, we're not going to lie, most of us prefer to be evacuated at the station of yours. But if you need us here, we can pull any, any Federation refugees we encounter in the area. Yeah. So let's transfer the crew. And leave the system. Let them do it, because they're close enough where we can defend them pretty quickly. And now, let's set up to these guys here, and we're going to actually collect them and uh, and uh, save those folks up here, because, um, yeah, they're way too far for us to protect decently. And we have this little ship sitting there, this cruel hanging out. We don't want to let them, uh, let the cruel move in on that area here. So, Commander Corbin Lau's fleet made contact with the colony at Organon. Uh, the brave and loyal Federation colony overseer offers to remain at the sector and attempt to make contact with any Feder passing Federation officers. Alternatively, we can prefer to evacuate this facility and bring the crew back to the station. Um, let's continue production for now. Four crew per day, 18 crew. Let's, send, let's, let's, actually, let's actually evacuate this one like I wanted to. Um, 85 crew are going to be added. Uh, yes, evacuate. We will give up this planet here um, and move them back to the back to house in 6 and then we'll also probably maybe establish communication with this one here. And while we're at it, let's do that quick. We have 21 fuel, we should be able to get down to, oh, before we do that, uh, let's do this. Let's send the fleet here. It takes 15, yep, we can do that. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, they have to go back to the system. I see we can't just break off a mid thing here. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Corbin Lau, got up to Zalar Hater, as is uh, with his 10 days of command here. He's got a damage bonus versus Zalar. Um, oh, we got a Cruel moving in. Uh, they fleet contact with another colony, awesome. So uh, for these guys, we will continue production here though too. Two crew per day, not as bad, good as the other one, but they have 25 crew already. Uh, we're going to leave the system. And we have, looks like we have Cruel headed to Cat's Eye, which is this one right here. No? Crab? Cat's Eye is pretty close. Okay, we, have to, we might have to vacate them um, in a moment here. So let's actually wait just a moment. Uh, let's see what the kind of ships they have waiting there for us. Let's just give them a second here to show up. All right, so pirate hater damage versus pirates. That's awesome. All right, so what do we have here? Show location. What do we got here? Three cruel ships. Young clipper. Two. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough fight, actually. I think they're young. Well, you have two adult ones here. I don't think the two of us can manage it just yet. And this is a dark matter facility. We have to save that at some point here, but I think we'll have to wait for now. So let's get these guys back to our place here. Uh, the fuel refinery here is full. It's going to take 11 fuel to get there. You know what, better yet though, let's uh, let's send the, the crew here. Let's send the crew home. I'm kind of tempted to go after these guys though. We're early in the game, it's it's going to be tough to take care of them. Uh, and it's our very first battle, we haven't really leveled up at all yet. So, um, let's skip that for now. We'll come back for them, we won't let them, uh, we won't let them die there. We'll have to save that facility, because it is close enough to, for us to defend, I think. But, um, I'm far enough away from that portal, the first portal anyways. Uh, so let's uh, let's get the let's get the fleet home first of all here. Get all those people safely aboard the ship. Port Halcyon Six, and we have a visitor coming in too. Crew 140, 140 crew received, and we have the collective fleet arriving in the vicinity, hailing us. Warning: The collective consciousness is an extremely volatile AI with a history of violence against humankind stemming from before the Federation's founding. Normally, only high tr highly trained Federation diplomats ever communicate with it, but considering the current reality, that task will fall to you. Hi guys, nice to see some of you are still alive. What with that alien invasion you're experiencing? Uh, let's see where we go. This is let's be standoffish. This is the Terran Starbase Halcyon Six. State your purpose here. I'm just checking in, really. I've been picking up some of your distress signals. Disturbing stuff. Uh, you're in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah, you're in a good mood. It's a new demeanor I'm trying out. Do you like it? Uh, I suppose? I'm pretty sure you'll grow to enjoy this affectation over time. 
The testing has been off the charts. Well, that's good. I was just swinging by to see how you guys are doing. Swing by the Transensius sometime. Swing by Transensius sometime. Transensus. Transensus? Transensus. Okay. All right, so uh, this guy's full of fuel. We should probably grab some from him. He's got, he's full of troops over here too, isn't he? Oh yeah, we should probably swing by and make the rounds here. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I think we can do is, uh, first of all, let's send the crew here. And we'll make a couple rounds here and get some more stuff. So launch the fleet. Um, transfer the fuel. So we have that. Leave the system. Uh, let's go do into uh, tech research here and we can get ourselves the officer's lounge because one of our tasks right now is to uh, get three officers. Get the officer's lounge, build the officer's lounge, and then get promoted a third officer and then build a, th a third ship. So it takes a few times to get this, but first we need to research the officer's lounge. It takes 500 and 300, so we don't have a lot left of anything. And now we need to get more materials and more dark matter. So what we're gonna do is Take the ship and go over here. Send the flip over there. And uh, show location. Yep. And let's see. Um, I thought we could uh, do something with these if we had the. Uh... Yeah, if we have a via an extractor facility or small amounts can be extracted via a science ship. Okay, so we have a science ship, but it's not actually collecting anything there. Uh, let's send the fleet here then and grab that. Another three. Transfer the fleet to the crew. Okay. We'll leave the system. And let's actually head up to this one while we're here. And send the fleet there. And it's been in ruins. Okay. Well, not, no luck there. Okay. And then we got that one, which we know is not in ruins yet. Uh, let's send the guys over here quick. And let's make the rounds in this ver very general facility here. Ver vicinity here, not facility. Uh, also in ruins. Okay. Uh, let's go up to here, grab these people. Another five. Oh, we got a bombardment happening. Sir, Pirate Fleet is arriving the system is preparing to bombard us. Uh, we've picked up some of their chatter. Uh, okay, we've read this guys. We've read these guys way too many times, but they're arguing up the politics of uh, the, the Admirax. Mutant Zlar, to, you want me to trust that Mutant Zlar to continue the Admirax legacy? So what if he's a little unstable? You weren't at Scorpius, you didn't see that maneuver, he. If you're talking about piloting skills, why not Willa then? Sounds to me like someone's a little biased against the Zlar. Listen, say what you will about the Yablings, you can't ever doubt their profit motive, right? Hey, I hear you. Anyone except Zol Solvac, right? The collective thing gives me the creeps. You said it. Alright, fine. Um, transfer the crew. Nice. And leave the system. Alright, let's hit this one and then we'll head back home. We're losing some crew right now. Uh, oh, cool. We've made contact with the materials mine. Awesome. Thank God you came. We haven't been able to last much longer without a Federation without Federation support. Those things are everywhere, and the Navy's almost completely destroyed. What a disaster. Tell you the truth, that giant station here sounds mighty compelling to me and my men. But if you think you can protect us from all these aliens, we'll pledge to stay here as long as you need the materials. It's up to you, Commander. Of course we're gonna let you stay there, buddy. 110 materials? Sure, give, keep it coming, man. Maximum capacity is 329. We're gonna make this trip pretty frequently. Uh, not that frequently. It's only 10 per day. So, not that bad. I'll leave the system helps a little bit um and then we're gonna go home so let's bring the whole fleet home and deal with these pirates at our doorstep here this is already filled with fuel again all right crew 65 and materials 110 fantastic okay so um let's uh, get a crew over to here now it's interesting it takes uh two fuel to get over there it used to not take any that's interesting uh, orbital bombardment, basically they're gonna keep killing our crew until we get, deal with these guys. They're just a couple little scout ships here though. Should be too much of a deal for our guys here. So we have actually some good stuff already. We have upload virus for our first science ship here, which is uh, sensors offline, which is gonna reduce their accuracy. Cauterize hull heals, which is great. And then this is just a nice thing that exploits hull breach. And this guy's got actually got a hull breach ability here with harass, no, uh, crippling shot, no. Oh, we don't have a hull breach. Oh, that's interesting. Usually they have a hull breach. All right, well, that's fun. Uh, first of all, sensors offline. And he evaded that one, unfortunately. Um, this is going to lower his accuracy for a little while here. And we did get to take some damage there. Uh, let's see. This exploits sensors offline. But uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to take a crippling shot on this guy here. Because this guy needs some status effects. 
resisted it too. Jeez. Too fast for you. So what I'm going to do here, because this guy, we get a little bonus from this guy, but this lasts for a few turns. Uh, we're going to save this this effect for right now and, and wait till later to use it. Because uh, as soon as we attack him, when we get the combo, he's going to lose that status effect. And we're going to get, we're going to reduce any benefit from it. So we're going to get everything we can out of that. Uh, let's just do a sabotage on this guy. Evaded it. Jeez. Too fast for it. That's what I wanted. See, like that kind of thing. Now we have, now this guy is ready to get rid of the sensors offline. So next time we'll exploit that. Uh, but first we'll take this guy out. Well done. All right, one down. And uh, this first one is going to be ex we'll exploit sensors offline. This should do a hefty, hefty amount of damage, actually. Yeah, look at that. Knocks him down, gets rid of the sensors offline. But he's still missing. That's fantastic. And that should do the trick, right? Nice. All right, 47 materials and five dark matter. I've been promoted. I can advance my training now. What would you like me to focus on? Great. We need something that does hull breach. Uh, let's see. Fire will gets uh, hull breach. Um, I believe it has the chance to inflict uh, hull breach on ourselves, though. Or some. I thought there was some downside to that. But we need something that does hull breach, so we're gonna take fire at will. And then Alir has also been promoted, and we're going to do a speed buff for Ben's space time. I really like this one. Uh, it basically increases our speed by a hundred. It gives us the chance to attack more often, so we definitely want that. Ooh, exploits weapons disruption, inflicts target sensors, inflicts sensors offline. Okay, that's kind of cool. But uh, overall, I think we're going to go with the Ben Space Time because that helps the whole fleet. All right, so that's good. Uh, let's get the fleet over to here quick here uh, and pick up the extra fuel there. Okay, transfer the fuel and then uh, leave system, return home. All right, so now we got to start thinking about the pirates, I think. Uh, let's see. The officer's lounge we're not ready for yet, but we do have the ability to go into the starbase here and start looking at clearing some of these rooms. So we have uh, this room right here, which has not done anything with it yet. Um, let's assign an officer to clear this out, and it's going to take three days. So we're going to have to wait a little bit before we can go take some pirates out. But that's okay. Um, and actually, while we're, while we're doing that, ooh, this guy's moving in, though. Let's see where he goes. Uh, we've encountered some kind of creature blocking our way, and it won't let us continue. What should we do? Uh, okay, let's take him out as our last act for this episode here. Okay, so we have uh, two officers right now, and we'll add on a cadet as well. So we have a full full complement of uh, allies here, and uh, we just got one bad guy. This should be, should be no problem for us, right? All right, so first thing we're going to do is inflict Confused on this gentleman right here. And I believe that'll reduce his attacking accuracy. Yes. Oh, decreased evasion. Okay. Oh, he got rid of the decreased evasion, but he got uh, healing. Healing now. All right, so uh, if we do a bleeding attack on a slice and dice, this will actually inflict some bleeding, which is new damage over time. Sort of like a hull breach, I guess. Nice. And that'll do uh, 36 damage over six rounds. That's pretty good. Um, inflicts bleeding again. Let's get some more bleeding on this guy. Double the bleed. Oh, he, he, he dodged it. Okay. So let's get afflicted here. He faded that too. Wow, he's quick. He's quick. And it's, okay, he's got his own moves here. Um, let's inflict blinded. This will reduce his accuracy. Resisting everything. Holy cow. At least we're doing some damage, though. Okay, so he's bleeding still a little bit here. We're going to exploit that right now with a little bit of this action. Oh, man, we missed again, but the transfusion didn't do anything for us either. Shoot. Uh, all right, laser pistol. Knock him out. Wow. The speed on this guy's crazy. All right, so let's, uh, let's get in there with a precision shot, maybe. There we go. Jeez, oh, that's gruesome. All right, so that takes care of that, and then uh, we're gonna see where this cruel is headed to. Of course, he's going to our, our colony we just found. 42 materials recovered, nice. Uh, acknowledged, okay. Um, is that to care of that room then? Or she's still working on it? Okay, cool. So the first thing we need to build 
is always a dirothium diothrium reactor because that's going to increase our energy right now we're at maximum capacity for energy so we need to build this it's going to take four days it doesn't take anybody to go work on it the crew will work on it and uh we'll have to go save this colony though i think pretty soon here so we have another one which is a uh, two adults and one uh in one i don't know this is not an adult this is this is more of a bigger guy though i guess um so nothing to be taken lightly especially with only two guys but we need to do something for these guys especially and i think that between the two of them this is gonna be the easier fight so we're gonna take care of this one first and then take care of these guys because we do honestly i mean we do have other crew we can get not to be not to be uh not to be unempathetic towards their situation but we do have other crew we can get so um not as big a deal but we do need to help them out eventually and then we have we have lots of pirates on the doorstep too so we might want to get a couple levels before we do anything else as well just to make sure we're not going to get uh completely destroyed by these cruel here but uh, that is going to do it for our first episode of Halcyon 6 in Early Access. If you are interested in the game, you can check it out. It is available on Steam now, of course. Uh, and uh, it is available for only Act 1 right now. So keep that in mind if you are buying it in Early Access here. It's not going to be the complete game just yet. But they are working on it and the updates have been pretty good and pretty quick so far. Uh, so I hope they continue that as it goes here. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Halcyon 6. We're off to a great start, I think. A couple of problems I can see on our doorstep already. But uh, we're making some making some decent progress this time around. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.